Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Black Bay Asylum, home for the criminally insane. Now, this is my fifth time recording this, or attempting to record this, because I, uh, my recording software had a temporary folder that was located on the wrong drive, which had very little space on it. I run Steam with everything off of an external, so... Uh, we should be alright. I have not gotten at all into this game. I got to literally the first screen. That's all the further I got. So, I still don't know anything about this. Uh, quick background. Uh, I've been on a horror movie kick, horror game kick lately, I should say. Uh, as evidenced by the Five Nights at Freddy's Oculus video I did. I also just, earlier today, actually finished up Outlast. And I decided not to record Outlast because everybody's recorded Outlast. We know the game, it's famous, whatever. Not one of my favorites, but, you know, it's a great game and that made me want to record more, to play and record more horror games. So I hopped up onto Steam and I started combing through the horror section of it, looking for anything that I hadn't heard of, but still looked kind of interesting. And this popped up. Title kind of kind of caught me. Um, the splash image looked a little weird, and it didn't seem to be one of those standard. You're in a dungeon. Here's a flashlight. Can't see anything. Once in a while, something will just pop into your face. Horror games. So, and and the reviews seem very good. So I decided to give it a shot. I have been through the. Con you, know, you can see the controls chunk here. I've been through that a couple of times. I know how to control the game, but that's all the further I've gotten. Other than that, I know nothing about it other than that it is what appears to be, and I didn't know this going into it, but it appears to be a top-down style game rather than a, uh, you know, more standard first-person horror game. And that could work to its advantage, could work to its disadvantage. Let's go. Welcome to Black Bay, the mental ward. Doug Donahue, convicted mass murderer and patient at Black Bay Asylum sits in his cell, composing a letter to his best friend and Teddy, his best friend Teddy, a worn down teddy bear. Uh, oh, by the way, his best friend's a teddy bear. Just thought you should know. But what seems to be an ordinary night at the asylum is about to take a horrific turn. Start. So, uh, by the way, I decided that, uh, from looking at this guy, that his voice clearly has to be baby cakes. So let's go. Dear Teddy, hi, it's me. I'm writing you this letter as a precaution. You see, I'm scheduled for one of those exploratory surgeries tomorrow, and we both know that 99% of the subjects die while the other gets mutilated beyond belief. Okay. So if I don't get back to the cell by tomorrow night, I'm probably face down in the corpse pile out in the yard. If so, I want you to call my mom and tell her I'm sorry for killing Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, Mr. Douglas, Jesse, Catherine, and all of the members of her book club. A side note, one of the things that did pop up in the reviews is that apparently there's a lot of typos and, and grammatical errors and, and shit like that, and I, I don't care. If, if the game itself is good, I don't care. Also, I want you to escape. A mental institute is no place for a smart and brave bear such as yourself. Well, I hate long goodbyes, so take care. P.S. You were the best friend an oversized, diaper-wearing psychopath could have. Also, he's wearing diapers. Just... Alright, we're getting a little heavy-handed with, with the whole crazy thing. Alright, he's a big... He's a big crazy guy. His best friend's a teddy bear. He wears diapers and... And writes, uh, very kindly. Which, I believe if we were to take the, you know, the standard TV tropes psychopath checklist, that would be most of them. Um, by the way, one thing I do like about this, if you'll notice, it, it, it's, a, it's a little thing, but I really like the fact that the, uh, the directions appear to be sort of above, like, they're, they're not just, like, lay, laid on the screen, you know, so they kind of move around. I don't know why, That's just, I, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> F fuck you, I like it. Now it is a it, it's in in proper you can see in proper sort of uh, adventure game mode all movement is done with the keyboard and then this is to click around and oh we have a a journal of Doug mental ward blank off to a good start it's the pamphlet I got when I was committed here makes for an interesting read. 
your guide to Black Bay Asylum, home for the criminally insane. Welcome to Black Bay Asylum! As a new arrival at our fine establishment, you might want to learn the ropes. Rule number one, don't leave your cell. Due to the unstable nature of our other inmates and the incompetence of our staff. Okay, all right. I have to say, this is not what you'd consider mm, particularly efficacious stationary for uh, for something of this nature. You know, you want you would think what you'd want in your asylum is for it to be warm and comforting for your people to understand. Yes, this is to help you. Don't worry, we're on your side. Apparently not. <sighs> Patients are no longer allowed to roam free in the co in the compound, exception when ex escorted by guards. Rule number two, listen and obey. Always obey the BBA staff. Ah, oh, Black Bay Asylum, see? Yeah, making connections, off to a good start. Orders from guards and doctors may seem odd, strange, or even sexually degrading? But just remember, we have your best interests at heart. All orders and requests made by our staff is deemed classified and may not be mentioned to any- Okay. There is a- that is a rapey vibe going on there. Oh, by the way, this game comes with a rather massive uh, warning screen. It's one of those, you know... By the way, this contains a whole lot of terrible things of various kinds, so if terrible things of various kinds bother you, don't play. Okay. Cool. Whoa! Hmm. The cell is unlocked and there's no guards. Strange. Oh, the sound in this game is awesome. I mean, like, really awesome. And... Okay. We have one hell of a bloodstream going so far. Oh, look at this. Look at that! Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa! Is that a- is that a- is that a turret? It is! Holy crap! Oh! I kinda wanna see it shoot. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So we've got turrets to deal with. Boy, this game is just throwing everything at you. Oof. I recognize this guy. Pretty sure he used to be alive. Who the hell did this and how? Hey, he's holding a key card. They got a key card? I got a key card! Check it out! I got a key card! Alright, so this is definitely adventure. Okay, the wow, this is really disorienting. It's all covered in blood, like someone exploded in here. But th that voice is going to turn really sad and really off very quickly. I apologize ahead of time. Okay. Alright, so I got a key card. Can I just... Alright, I'm going to start... Alright, in proper... Wait, wait. Wait, in pro... Uh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, hey, check it out! Oh, that was the only place it worked, okay. Okay, so it's like a double clicky magoo. Okay, we got, alright. Porn and weapon magazines. Also, a pretty graphic fan letter from one of the guns to a pinup girl called Alexis. There's some weird shit in here, and yet I'm the one locked up? That is unjust! I agree, sir. And all, just think, all you did was murder a shitload of people. There are security monitors on the wall. No people anywhere. Strange. I see code red alert on the compu- Uh... Oh! We, we have discovered our first puzzle. We have- Alright, we are off to a good start. So I need to find... A screwdriver! I don't need any of this stuff. Besides, I can barely boil water. That in reference to, if only I had paid more attention in chemistry class. Okay, so I have a screwdriver now. I can deactivate the turret. Alright. Ooh. Dear diary, tonight my cell door was open and not a guard in sight. I should take this opportunity to escape. Teddy is nervous, but I'm sure everything will be fine. I need a password for the computer in the guard room. There's got to be a clue here somewhere. Yes, there does. And now we get to join the hilarious 
time in this game where we discover how little I understand about adventure games. Because all I have is a screw- wait a minute. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I think I know it. Is it Alexis? Oh! Oh, who's the man? Not me, but I did okay on that one. Check that razzmatazz out. We are rolling. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, fuck you, turret. I don't want to mess with it. It's more powerful than me. Flora should stay outdoors. Wow, this guy really... They weren't kidding. There's something for everything here. What's that? It's password protected. I've already hacked one computer today. Isn't that enough? I don't think so. I want to hack all the computers everywhere. Can I get back here? There's a book. I want a book. Wait, was that? Besides, I doubt it has Robin the Runner anyway. Alright, I don't think I'm going to read literally every piece of dialogue that comes through here, because that would be exceptionally tedious. But... Oh. Ooh. Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, boy. It done, it done got quiet. All that cool music stopped. I gotta say, by the way, I really like the sound direction of this game. I see what happened here. He obviously didn't have antivirus protection. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Alright. No. Oh, look at, look at the little journal. It's got like a little, it's got a little, little My Little Pony on it. Look at that. Or a unicorn or something. Well, little, little rainbow. Rainbow Dash or something. I don't know. Whatever. Good grief. A lot of words. I, ooh, my head hurts. There's something written here, but it's probably not important. Okay. Boy, everyone just... They weren't even kidding, man. When stuff explodes in the... Just, everyone just blew the fuck up. Oh my god. It's like a party with just guys, no chicks, and everyone is dead. <sighs> my favorite kind of party. Okay, we can't get in there. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. I'm getting terrible omens. Yes, yes. I believe what I would, of course, do is follow the long blood trail. Someone put a lot of effort in barricading the basement stairs. I'm not going down there. Not for five cents. Not for five hundred. <laughs> Excellent Futurama reference. Mmm. Massive respect. Ooh. Alright. Right. I can run. Alright, I'm not sure I want to go outside just yet. I feel like there's probably somewhere else I should... Yeah. I feel like I should look around a little bit more before I... Now that is one ugly son of a... Oh. It's a mirror. <laughs> Alright, so this game's got a sense of humor. I like it. There's a hole in here. It looks like there's something written on her chest. I can't really see anything without my reading glasses, though. Uh, Alright, I don't know if this is correct. But, I th but I'm going to go back, go back into the cell, see if there's reading glasses or anything. Cavity search, okay. Inspection area. It's got anything? Reading glasses? No, I already looked at you. No reading glasses? Whoa, damn, we never thought. Oh, aha! Yeah, so we're repeating that joke. All right. Okay, so maybe that, may okay, maybe that was just a red herring. All right. So, there's nothing interesting in the bathroom. It smells just like my cell. He wears diapers. This, I'm sure his cell smells rather poopy. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if he's okay. Sort of doubt it. Ooh, I am getting... It's occupied. Oh my goodness, look at this, man. This is wonderful. He really does comment, their eyes are watching me. That's why I always cut the eyes out of all my photos. See, that's just being smart. These outdated tabloids are forced upon the unsuspecting visitors. Very consciously minded of you. A vending machine. It looks like something is stuck in it, but I can't reach it. The elevator has no power, or the scanner doesn't recognize me as human. However, I should try to fix this. Okay. So we've got a couple of things to start off here. We got we got we need reading glasses over on the uh, over on the right there. We need something to reach the thing in the 
in the vending machine, and we need to find a way to get into the elevator. Anything new in the inventory? Oh, new journal. Teddy's getting a really vab a bad vibe from the women's bathroom. If only there were a way to see inside. Like my old school days. Ah, ah, ah I like it. Yeah, well done. Well done. All right. Well, guess it's time to wander around outside. Ooh. 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 Hey, what's that? What's that? Money! Picked up some muhula. Really? I don't need any more money. You don't need any money to begin with. Ah. Oh. Gas cans, my second favorite kind of cans. I'm assuming he means soup cans. I'm gonna go with Campbell's tomato for that. Ooh. Guys, the sound to this game is just immaculate. So this is where all my fellow inmates went. Ah, oh, the sound of this game. We got like crows and... Oh. Uh... All right. Try breathing. Try breathing. Drunk bastard, the gas cans in the back are leaking all over the place. That is not a good start. All right, so right now I have a screwdriver, a full gas can, and some money. Hey, I'll bet. All right, starting to piece it together. All right, I'm earning my keep. That's right, who's the man? Who's the man? I gotta stop using that. Not, not only am I not the man, but that wasn't even like a cool thing to say at the time. All right. Can I use a screwdriver? Here's the money. How did that happen? How did... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, somehow the money turned into prescription glasses? Alright. I don't know why. We're off to a good start. I'm not feeling at all concerned about the logic. 1984. Okay, so 1984 means something. Does that... Can I... Well, let me do... No, password protected. Still won't let me do that. I don't... Alright, I'm a little... Wait, what's this? Oh, that's just a busted-ass locker. Alright, cool. Alright. Spent all my money. Can't... Whoa. That's a weird, I can't use that sound. Woo! That is... How about, how about here? Nope. Okay. Now it's time for that well-worn trope of running around trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing. All I know is I've, in 1984, that is my only clue right now. And I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I have a screwdriver, I have glasses, I have a can of gas, and I have 1984. What's that? Ventilation shaft? Damn it! See? See? I, I, I thought that was good! I, come on, man. You gotta get a screwdriver in the ventilation shaft. You gotta give me that one. Oh... Yeah! Beer and porn, too bad, I'm in a, too bad I'm in a hurry. I agree, sir. It's a generator, it's out of gas, and I just happen to have a gas can! Look at that! Oh, whoa! Blue fuse. What happened? Well, the generator is working now, but the safety fuse were triggered. Maybe there's a fuse box around here somewhere. Maybe there is. That's what we're gonna check. I'm trying to do this all sort of in one go, because from one, one thing I have learned about this is that the entire game, is that the game doesn't save between um, chapters. So once you start a chapter, you gotta finish that chapter or else you're just gonna lose all your progress. So we gotta do this all in one shot. And now we're finding a fuse box. Now I'm starting to... 
I am not confident enough to say that I'm getting the hang of this, but I'm starting to get at least a vague feel. Did I use the- oh, I used the coins to get the glasses? Whatever. No power, scanner doesn't recognize me as human. Uh, you know what, game? That is a nice-looking screwdriver. I'll tell you, I really... I, it, it's hard for me to properly explain how much I like the feel of this game. It just looks so cool. You know, it's just got a great... Just a, a great feel to it. The graphics are nice. The sound is nice. The Futurama references are nice. Alright, maybe if I go back to... wait. Nah, that's just... Uh, maybe if I go back to the first air... Uh, we are gonna have a slight problem if it's one of those go back to where you came from all the time games. It's locked. It's locked. And, I mean, it's not like in the abstract I have a problem with backtrack games, but... It, it is kinda cheap. Although, you know what? Maybe that's not it. There's something. No, there's just an explodey room. And off for that well worn trope of running around looking for stuff. Where we discover just how bad I am at games like this. Alright, I'm just gonna find the damn fuse box. 